It's Friday, January 17th here in Seoul. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. South Korean LPGA legend Park Se-ri has been named the recipient of a major award given by the U.S. Golf Association. This week, the USGA announced that Park will receive the 2020 Bob Jones Award, which recognizes an individual who demonstrates the spirit, personal character, and respect for the game of golf. The award has been presented every year since 1955. Park, who is now retired, has won 25 titles, including five majors, during her LPGA career from 1998 to 2016. According to the USGA, Park will receive the award during the week of the 2020 US Open in June at the Wingfoot Golf Club in New York. The top US envoy to Seoul, Ambassador Harry Harris, has called on South Korea to consult with the US about its plans to engage with North Korea. Earlier this week, President Moon Jae-in said that allowing individual tours to North Korea do not violate UN sanctions and that it could be one of the ways to expand inter-Korean cooperation. He went on to say that resuming the tours could help bring back North Korea to the stalled nuclear talks and draw international support for partial sanctions relief. In a press briefing on Thursday, Ambassador Harris said President Moon's continued optimism is encouraging, but when it comes to acting on that optimism, he said South Korea should run the issue through its working group with the U.S. to avoid any misunderstandings that could later trigger sanctions. Legendary British rock band Queen has complimented BTS and the K-pop wave, saying BTS is truly outstanding. Queen came to Seoul this week for his first concerts in South Korea. And at a news conference on Thursday, the band's guitarist Brian May said K-pop is the voice of the new generation, as Queen once was in the past. And the lead vocalist Adam Lambert said he really likes the fashion and visuals of the K-pop world and that he's always been dazzled by acts like BTS. Queen came into the spotlight in South Korea after the 2018 film Bohemian Rhapsody became extremely popular in the country. The band will perform at the Kochak Sky Dome in Seoul on Saturday and Sunday. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.